Latte. I'm so mad about this one. Okay, so because last time we kind of talked about Vivian's film camera, I wanted to give you guys an update because we actually got our scans back in. They're not great, but it's good to see and learn. So this is the first row, the test row. This is like a Fuji like C200 film. We were shooting the Chinatown Parade. Look at that doggy. But I managed to get some of this like, you know, in focus. I got her expression. I thought that was cool. Not this one though. It looks very vintage. Ooh. Like this nice little like greenish tint vibe to it. I think it's also the <laughs> scans. Like it's in focus. Okay, it's getting the... Okay, they're also moving. I'm also kind of learning how like the whole shutter thing because the camera i have is like aperture priority so it's definitely tougher this is a focus look it, i got this baby's face i just like how like a lot of the photos that i took with your context t2 i didn't even know how to use it and I, my all my photos came it's out sharp i framed it up for you and i told you how to do this it. is a great shot this is a nice one look at the baby it almost looks like you know when our parents like show us these photos of us when we're kids, you know, when they're like walking around. What is that? I think it, I think it has that like really nice vibe. Ooh, that's nice. I got the man. I like that. I kind of like that. I like, I that like this one. This is one of my favorites. It's blurry, but it shows like the confetti and the action of the ladies waving the flags. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. this one, you took that one for us. You are, you were trying really hard to like pop it, but then because. You guys weren't able to pop it in time and I already set like focus on the camera or whatever. So a lot of shifting is going on. And there's so, a lot of movement. There you go. I'm diverting what? that blame to her. But I like it. <laughs> but it looks really good. It looks really good. Cool. Oh, there's me. Oh, blurry. I, was, I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, How did blurry. you not get focus for that? Ooh, this one's sharp. This one's good. That almost felt like if someone in the past were to travel to the future and they had like their film camera trying to capture this. That's what it's like. <laughs> That's what it would look like. Look, I got this one in the focus. That's really, that looks really good. I Ooh, don't even. I think, that looks oh, really it's cool. supposed to be turned this way. It almost looks like you're inside of the track for some reason. <laughs> and you're shooting, but that looks... It's turned this way. I think that's you. That actually looks really cool. Does it? Seriously, this looks like you shot this inside of the track. Like you're like on the track. Also blurry because it's too dark. Because it's even the 400 was just too dark inside. <laughs> it's a I try to get flowers, but I'm I'm learning about how like the, the, the focusing distance is. So after I shot this one, I actually pulled up the manual to read it. Cause I was like, how come it's not giving me focus? But I realized it's cause I was too close. So there's also a focusing distance that I have to figure out too. Yeah. There's you, you look cool. Mm, this is where I'm channeling my inner Faisal Westcott. This is really cool cause you got the, the bikers in action. Definitely underexposed though. I mean like if you actually like look at the, the signages, yeah. you know how sometimes when you're like shooting Times Square, if you don't know what you're doing, you can blow out like a lot of the advertisement billboards. Yeah. So I think you did a really good job. You, you, you didn't blow out any of the signs, so this looks really good. I think after this, I started um, overexposing or like uh, doing exposure competition. Oh, that's cool. Croissants. Also. <laughs> This car wasn't even moving. I know. This I'm car sad. wasn't even moving. I thought I got this one good too. This one I got. This one looks pretty cool. This is he like, posed for me. Oh, this is great. This is so cute. I Look know. how sharp your eyes are. I know. Whoa, you're saying that. Professional. I from... shot that. Classic B and H bag in the back. Yep. I <laughs> This is supposed to be my matcha latte. Again, I'm playing with focusing distance. <laughs> I'm so mad about this one. I tried so hard on this one. I, I, I think I see where the focus is. It's it's your sweater in the back. Okay. <laughs> There's the, okay. See, you you cut off There's my There's the head. tortilla blanket in full Oh, my tortilla right blanket. So what happened was there's these like little brackets inside of the camera that tells you what the framing is, but they also show you something a little bit wider for whatever reason. So I just figured, oh, I'm capturing everything. But in reality, you had to frame it inside the frame so I cut her head off, you know? Oh, this one's when we went outside. This looks really I cool. I posed you, you look cool. Mm. There's me, I love this one. So sharp, look at that. I know. Ooh. This is cute. All the ones outside of people look cute. Maybe that's what people said portrait yeah. is good for, portrait. Look at this one, looks so Look how tight. sharp that is. Look at the, I like how we caught the three girls in the back. Yeah, and we got our selfie in. An attempt at selfie. Wow, 38 millimeters. Got us both in. 38. That's it. So tune in again for <laughs> the saga of Vivian learning uh, more about film cameras. So she's getting really into it. I think uh, that's pretty much it. And we'll, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks. Bye.